This is Twit. Um, this may be an unusual question, but um, I'm looking for a, um, a service that would um, satisfy the requirement that I have for a solar system that says I have to have 7 by 24 hour monitoring of my system through a modem or router. Mm. And right now I have Verizon um, Home Fusion. Okay. And I'm looking for something that's cheaper than $60 a month. Well, you already... Do they? They don't want to. Do they want a dedicated circuit that 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 is separate from your existing uh, internet circuit? Well, here's the here's the thing. We're in a brand new home. The home is not wired at all for any type of phone. I have a cell phone. No, but, but yeah, but it sounds like yeah. So this is um, sounds like if they say a router, that's internet access. So you got to talk to the it solar is. company. Yeah, if you if it's just internet access. Then you need to ask them, and I, I'm sure this will be okay. Is it all right if we use our existing internet service? Can you ride on top of that? And they'll say yes. Well, um, my existing internet service is my phone. My husband's phone is a hotspot for our PC. And I'm sorry, I'm confused. I thought you said you had Verizon Home Fusion. I do only for that one reason. That's the only reason I, see. That I have it. So you bought I it for this solar installation. I get it. Unfortunately, the solar people didn't tell me that I needed to have a, a modem slash router in order to do the 24 by 7 monitoring service. Yeah, it's like, a, it's like a, a burglar alarm, which requires a landline. We had to put in a landline, which we don't have and didn't want. Right. Because the burglar alarm doesn't work without a phone, obviously. Exactly. So your solar exactly. company wants to have live internet monitoring, and you say you don't want to have an internet service provider. Well, the problem, the, well, the situation is, is we have, a, where we are right now, we actually don't need it because I use, um, we use Verizon's hotspot. My husband's You're using 3G, yeah. Yeah. Well, you're, so, you have your choice. You can either have the yeah. solar or have your... Have a, <laughs> I, I think they have you. You can get you get what you should do is get the cheapest possible internet service. They don't they don't need. Uh, first of all, I talk to the solar company and say, "Hey, really, you, you have to have this." If they say yes, you do. I then, did. Yeah, and they say yes, you do. Well, then go out to uh, probably DSL would be your cheapest. I don't know how far you are from the phone. I can't get it. You can't. Yeah, You're too far. No, no, too far. Yeah, and so isn't. Um, I, in fact, I've called maybe 10 places. Um, uh, <laughs> I just, like Windstream, Wild Blue, True Connect. Yeah, and I bet they won't accept a satellite. Those are very expensive, those satellite solutions. Too. Ah, okay. So you have to have an internet connection for this solar. Right. Um, and the previous owners, did they have something? No, see, this is a brand new home. It's brand new. And we, and we don't even have, we have not a wire going from anywhere into our house. I Here's it. what I would say. Well, who's the carrier that you use for your internet right now? Um, it's Verizon. It's Verizon. Mm -hmm. no, well, no, I don't mean the home solution. I mean the the, oh. uh, the phone solution. Is Verizon phone, also? Yeah, All it's right. Verizon, yes. So, I mean, it's not, you could probably get as little as $30 a month. Get a okay. a little Verizon card if since we know Verizon works, but there are other companies that'll offer these as well. Right. Um, for it's basically a MiFi card, and it's just going to be dedicated to the solar, and you're going to shop around to get the cheapest one you can get. Right. Okay. And that's fine. That'll work for them. They'll they'll won't know. I mean, it is a router, as you know. It's, yeah. uh, it's you get a little thing. It looks like it's a credit card. But what it is is a wireless access point. It's a Wi-Fi access point for up to five things. It gets its internet through the same cell phone signal you're using for your personal stuff. And you, you keep oh. it powered up. Yeah. So basically you're buying it its own cell phone. Yes. Okay. Have you ever heard of Freedom Pop? Yep. That's, a, that's one that's free. Now, I was wondering about that because I was I was actually thinking I, I didn't know the reputation. I looked into Freedom Pop about a year ago. They're still in business. <laughs> yeah, it started by one of the guys who started Skype. I mean, it's a it's a reputable business. Oh. Um, 
I wonder if they'll let you use it in this situation because my suspicion is the way that they monetize is with ads. Okay. Since nobody except the solar panels will see the ads, mm -hmm. they, they may not... <laughs> They may I not see. accept that. I don't know. I mean, maybe they will. Uh, that's a good question. Don't tell them it's just a solar panel. Right. I'm not sure what the uh, what the deal is with Freedom Pop. They have a hub. They call it the Freedom Pop, Freedom Hub. Right. Um, that is basically sets up a 4G network in your house. Exactly. Yes. Uh, but they even have an LTE hotspot that's much like that MiFi. Um, but yep. I don't. I don't. I. Uh, yeah. Free, if, free, if you can get Freedom Pop to work, that'll be fine. Hmm. Okay, well, then I might just um, I might just go a little further with Freedom Pop because that would save. Yeah. Because all, all you're doing is you, you're just buying. And I am not a techie. I am so far from being this. <laughs> well, in the nor you have to understand the normal course of events. Everybody has Internet access. It's no big deal right. to say, good, we're going to make sure the solar panels can phone home once in a while. Right. You're in an unusual situation where you don't have Internet access in the home. You're using your cell phones. For yep. your internet, and uh, and we've got to solve that problem for the solar panels. But just treat the solar panels as another member of the family. Give it a cell phone. <laughs> okay. Oh well, you I, know what? That's a great idea. I think that'll work. Yeah. I, I, think I, I think these energy monitoring systems are pretty robust. In other words, it doesn't. If it's down for a little bit or it's slow for a little, it doesn't. It's not going to kill it. It's no. just periodically phoning in to say, "Well, she used you know a kilowatt today or whatever." So I literally would get a phone for it. No, 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 no. Photo? But no, oh. you'd get you'd get a wireless access point that's that uses the data and get the cheapest one you can get. Freedom Pop might be a great solution. It uses the data from the phone company, just like you're using it oh. over the three G or four G, and probably three G is fast enough, so don't get anything fancier. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it would be. Yeah, because they did tell me that three G would be just fine. Yeah, they don't need. It's mm -hmm. not a high speed connection. They're just every once in a while saying, "Well, how much did she use today?" Okay. Okay. Well, and maybe you can get your neighbor to lend you some <laughs> bandwidth. All right. <laughs> Talk to the neighbors. Can I borrow a cup of bandwidth? It's Can I? Yeah, right. <laughs> Can I just tap into yours. <laughs> Freedom Pop you get uh if you don't use much, which you won't, uh it shouldn't cost you anything. Well, with Freedom Pop you have to buy it you you have to buy the unit. Yeah, that's where they make yeah. their money and you're using less than 500 megabytes a month, which I'm sure you will be. It's a right. good deal. I think I would go yeah. with it. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you very much. My pleasure.